there folks, JV here, and today we've got the SEMA Z3. Okay, let's open this up and have a little look inside. We've got quadcopter, FPV boom, good old standard SEMA transmitter with some accessories there as well which we'll come back to. Okay, so let's move everything out of the way. Let's get on to the quad first of all. This is the Z3. It is a folding quad, as you can see. Pull all the propeller arms out, they lock in place and give you this really quite nice looking quad. It's quite strange, really is quite strange, extremely light. Comes in at 120 grams with the battery, so your flying weight is 120 grams. So let's look at the front. So here's, let's start off, 720p camera, fixed lens unfortunately, but still it looks quite nice. There is a little bit of film on there which you have to pull off, so just be wary of that before you actually go flying. Then, as you come across the body of the quadcopter, you'll notice it's got a very sort of barrel shape to it. Circle at the front, working its way towards the back, on and off button directly in the middle. Now, quite strange, they've put SEMA folding drone in the middle, not just SEMA. I don't know why they've added the folding drone there, that's a quite, a, quite a little bit strange. Then we've finally, look at this, we've got some aeration holes at the back. Two this side and two that side, two on the left and two on the right. I, this is really, really badged up. You've got Z3 drone on the back, on the propeller arms here. You've got SEMA running down the body. It is quite labelled up. And then towards the back, then you have this cutout, which is where the battery fits. Now, this particular battery is a uh, 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp hour. Should give you eight minutes of flying time. Charges in around about 130 minutes. Uh, now, I'm hoping we're going to get a good good nine minutes out of that good eight minutes out of that it does seem to be quite doesn't seem to be quite powerful enough but then again we don't have a very powerful camera in the front of it at all it has got altitude hold it is a barometer quadcopter uh, and it does have optical flow as well this is what made me decide to go for it to give it a shot see how that optical flow sensor actually works so let's put this battery in let's see if we've got any any charge we've got a little bit so we've got orange leds to the front We've got green, really sharp spearmint green at the back. That's nice. There we are, click and hold then to turn it off. You've got a little, a nice little quick release catch on the bottom of this battery. Just click down and it pulls out really nice. And when it clicks in, it really clicks in there firmly. So you can't actually pull it out. Not without releasing that button. That's a nice little move, I like that. So then on the underside here, along with the optical flow sensor, we have some aeration holes just for the electronics and the battery to breathe a little bit. Uh, and then coming back around to the front, then we have the camera which we looked at to begin with. Now, as we are underneath the quad, let's have a little look at these, these landing sprigs. Once again, they are heavy molded landing sprigs here with a couple of aeration holes on the side for the motor to breathe. These are brushed motors. And then we have this little bit of foam. Now this foam doubles up as its landing spring, as its pad. I don't like these pads. I think they rip really easily if you're landing on concrete. Uh, it does give a little bit of a cushion, but still I would much prefer to have great big hard rubber bungs on the bottom of this rather than these little foam pads because these wear out in no time. So far that is the only downside for this quad that I can see. It feels really nice. It is really thin plastic though. Normally with SEMA you get quite a nice build quality. With this it doesn't feel as if you have got that build quality that we are synonymous with SEMA. Um, which is a little bit strange but at the same time it is sort of a budget quad. I mean this cost me £44 delivered which to be honest for a SEMA if it flies well I think is a really really good price. Folds down really small fits oh, it's a little bit bigger than the palm of your hand but still folds down really nice so that's the quadcopter and the battery so let's put that to one side now let's have a little look at this transmitter a very very standard transmitter for SEMA as we've seen time and time again standard analog sticks left and right obviously the left zims back into uh, snaps back into position just to let you know that you have got altitude hold on this particular quadcopter on and off button in the middle no buttons at all down the middle this is just uh, cosmetic Likewise, you've got two little buttons when you push in on the transmitter there. One for your 360 flips and rolls. We've got four buttons on the top as well. So take photo, take video, 360 flips, uh, headless mode 
and return to home but the return to home is just backwards it doesn't it's not gps so you have got to be careful there because no matter which way you're pointing whichever way you're pointing the front of this quadcopter it's going to see that as direct back so it's just going to fly backwards uh, so be very careful and also with clicking down one of these buttons as well you've also got trim which is standard for SEMA, tra SEMA transmitters like this it works quite well there's a bit of a knack to it I think if memory serves I may have this wrong but it's usually something like click and then adjust then for trim left and right uh, that's usually how it works but I may have to double check that anyway then we've got our two antennas here now I like these they're short they're dumpy they're small but at the same time they're not huge they don't jut out and they're not folding now on the back we've got this little bit of plastic that we remove and that then can allow the FPV boom to click in like that now these FPV booms are good, they're solid, they don't come off, they hold your phone really nice and tight. They've got some nice foam inserts in the front there just to hold your phone nice and that they don't scratch the plastic or the glass. Uh, but the, the, the only downside about them is, is that they're angled a little bit too down a little bit too much so you have got to move your transmitter back in order to see it nice and flat. It's not too much of, a, of an annoyance. Once you, have, once you do it a few times you just get used to it. The weight on the transmitter as well feels nicely balanced. Now you do have four AA batteries to go in here. This transmitter does not allow USB charging so you make sure your batteries when they go in are fully charged uh, or shot bought. Now as I was saying this does feel quite nice and even with the batteries, when the batteries are in, it'll have a nice balanced feel to it as well. Plastic is actually thicker on the transmitter than it is on the quad. But still, as long as it works, that's all I care about. So that's your transmitter. And then we have our two accessory bags. Well, one bag technically. Um, so we have, oh, there we go, four propeller arms, should you want to use them. And then we have our four spare propellers and our USB charger. This is a proprietary charger, which is quite strange. We saw this before for the SEMA X23 and they brought it back for the Z3. And quite literally, come on, get off there you. Quite literally you have a clamp on it, right? So there's a little, little almost like, vi uh, almost like vice clamp to the bottom here. As you push back, it just opens. So all you do is you line up the pins with the back of the, the, the battery and you click in. And when you click it in properly, it stays in. There we go, like that. So then you just plug it in and you charge it. Away to go. Right, so that is your accessory bags. That's your quadcopter. That's your transmitter and your propeller guards. Now let's get onto the manual. So the manual itself, you get two by the look of it. One is in Spanish by the look of it and the other one is in British, in English. So if we just zim through this quite quickly, you will see it gives you quite good insight in how to set up your quadcopter, how to fly it, little basic maneuvers, how to calibrate the gyro, how to take off, how to land using the one key takeoff and one key landing buttons, how to 360 flip, there we are, should you want to, uh, and then as well as how to hover, how to land, how the optical flow system works, as well as a full parts list in the back there, and usually, there we are, you have a blown up diagram of all the parts and a troubleshooting grid there as well, just for you to get through any troubles that you do have in flying this. So that is everything. So you have the quadcopter, a really, a really nice stylish quad, as well as you have the accessory bags, this bit of plastic which is for the back of the FPV bulb or the transmitter and of course you have the transmitter so that is everything that you get inside this package quite a nice little package and quite cheap and if this flies well then I think it's going to be a winner but in order to make that decision we've got to wait until the next couple of days my friends when I'm going to be taking this out and putting it through its paces please join me then thank you ever so much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel, so until next time my friends, happy flying.